What is going on, fellow members of the Jig Squad? Let me start by saying we went and filmed Ghillie Suit Golf Course Airhorn yesterday, but there were so many mosquitoes that we were literally forced to run for our lives to get out of there. We did get a couple of awesome clips, not enough for a video or I wouldn't be uploading a prank today. One year ago, last weekend, I was kicked out of the Indian Rocks First Baptist Church for having a little pot necklace around my neck. Let me start by saying I've been going to that church since I was born. I've gone to every single carnival since I was born, and I had never seen the guy that kicked us out once there in my entire life. If you want to see the full video of me getting kicked out of the church last year, the link is in the description, or if you're on a computer, you can click right here, or you can type in kicked out of church for a little pot. So this year, I returned to the Indian Rocks First Baptist Church, where the security guard Kyle was still working. If you watch the video, you see that he did not give us his last name. Who are you? Is that no? My name's Kyle. Kyle. I've been pointed out by a couple of kids Gentlemen, here saying. Can you help me out here? I'm their mother, Thank you. Okay, so. Here's the deal, guys. You guys have to leave, all right? Leave the property. I, I think it's a discrimination because you don't like the way they look. And yeah, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Christian people are not. Christian. I have been coming here my entire life and I've only seen you here this These year and I'm being kicked story. out. He hid behind the cops and ignored all the questions that we were trying to ask him, along with being extremely rude the entire time. So this year, I went there with intentions to have fun. I ended up taking pictures with hundreds and hundreds of squad members and fans. Thank you all of you guys, you're all awesome. My Instagram has been blown up this last weekend, it's been pretty funny. I was planning on heading over to the Jamboree when I get a call from my brother saying the same security guard that kicked me out last year was giving him and his friends a hard time. They were dancing to the Nay Nay a very popular song amongst the youth these days. So basically they were just standing, dancing, playing music and having fun when everyone's favorite security guard, this guy, here's a quick little clip of him last year being extremely rude to me and accusing me of selling drugs to people on a church property. Me, a very public person selling drugs to someone on a church property. Yeah, for on what? The disruption of the campus. Disruption of the yes. campus for a practical when joke? You're running, when you're running, on a church property and you're asking people if they want to buy marijuana. I never once asked anyone to buy marijuana. Absolutely not. Okay. Does that mean you're refusing to leave, gentlemen? I'm wondering why I'm being kicked out when I paid to be here over a joke on my own leave, friends. Gentlemen? You guys need to leave. You guys yeah. need to leave. Wait, 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 you need to get your car and leave. My little brother. I'm supposed to give me your car. And leave his. Wait out there. You got a cell phone. Call him. Wait on the other and side. I'm extremely disappointed with how my local church is acting on this. So. I have never had someone be so rude to me in my entire life, and I'm honestly shocked that he still even works there, the way that he treats people. So yeah, after I was forcefully removed last year, I let it go. I posted a YouTube video about it. I had a laugh. That was the end of it. Go back this year with intent of having fun, like I have the past 21 years at the Indian Rocks Jamboree. So yeah, I get a call from my brother saying that the same guy who kicked me out last year was harassing them. They were playing music. He comes up and steps on their feet to keep them from running away and demands that they stop dancing and playing that music or they would be kicked out. When they asked why, he banged his hand down on a table and said, don't talk back to me. Does freedom of expression not apply to people who are on a church property? I thought churches more than anyone were supposed to accept people. 14, 15, and 16 year old kids getting basically harassed by this guy. I wasn't even gonna make a video about this, but I ended up watching the video of me getting kicked out last year and was angered once again by the way that he treated me. Like I said, I had forgotten about it. Then I watched the video and I realized just how rude and disrespectful this guy was for somebody who was paying to be here. I must have taken pictures with at least 100 Juke Squad members. I gave out stickers to every single one of them. If you go on my Instagram and look at my tag photos, it's all pictures of people from the carnival. Once again, two years in a row, this guy has been extremely rude. If next year rolls around and he is still there, I do plan on pranking him. It'll be in good taste. Hopefully he'll laugh, but track record shows I'll be kicked out. So yeah, if you haven't seen the Kicked Out of Church for a Little Pot video, once again, you can find the link in the description. I just had to speak my mind on this topic because it really angered me to hear that he stepped on my little brother's foot. I went there and actually tried to find him so that I could bring it up to him and confront him for basically assaulting a minor, but he was not there, sadly. Like I said, it made me very angry. I don't hold any grudges, but I would like to film a prank on him because he is not nice. And you know... We're just trying to make people laugh. That's all we ever want to do is make people laugh. We don't ever want to make people mad. 
sometimes it happens because that's just the way that the prank game goes and we know that but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video like I said it would be a prank but we couldn't get enough clips because of the mosquito infestation in Florida other than that if you haven't subscribed do that and I will see you guys soon for a new video thank you so much for watching um dude you're on fire <laughs>